something so different, didn't it? Maybe that's sports. That's why we come to watch it, just because you don't know the outcome. Of course, I had my chances in the first set, being up a break. Um, second set, you know, I got lucky to win that. Um, had some chances early in the third, but it's uh, how it goes, you know. He was he was tough on the on the bigger points, and then at the end, uh, he was rock solid. So uh, I thought he played great. I didn't play bad myself, so I can be very happy as well. And uh, that's how it goes. It's also about coming and competing and playing in these Grand Slam finals. That's why you work so hard. I do, yeah. I do work very hard, but all the other guys do the same. Um, so there's no advantage there, I, I would think. But I have a great team behind me. Thanks, everyone, for being there throughout the championships and all the few years you've been supporting me. Um, without them, it wouldn't be possible. So I am still very hungry and motivated to keep playing. And uh, a match like this, obviously, is very helpful. And you love playing here, and you love this court and this crowd. Of course, it's been uh, once more uh, an absolute privilege to, to play here in honor, to say the least, uh, to be back on center court in the finals like this. Uh, of course, I would have loved to win, but uh, again, no, it was very good today. And at the end of the day, I still enjoyed myself. So I hope I see you again here. Thank you very much. We certainly hope so too. Ladies and gentlemen, Roger Federer. How good were you today? <laughs> well, first of all, I have to say it's, a, um, it's always a, a great privilege playing against Roger. He's a great champion and uh, it's probably one of the biggest challenges I can have and I ever had playing him here in Centre Court in Wimbledon and grass courts. He's, uh, he's done so much for our sport on and off the court and uh, he's definitely somebody that uh, a lot of players from my generation were looking up to him and uh, you know, following his lead. So, uh, it's a great honor to play again. That second set tiebreak was just really something so special, and you knew after that that you had to try and take control of the match. Well, I, I, I was aware coming on the court that Roger is going to play um, like he always plays uh, at his best when it matters the most. Um, he makes you he makes you push your limits. Uh, he makes you work hard and earn every single point. And uh, you know he's not going to uh, hang you the match. So uh, it's, I coming that was my approach. You know coming into the, the match knowing that in back of my mind obviously that uh, added a little bit more of a pressure. But uh, for this particular match, as you work all your life, you 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 wake up every day and uh, you work repetitively. Maybe sometimes on certain things, but. Uh, you know, you envision yourself being in the center court of the, of the biggest tournament in sport and, and holding this trophy. So it's a uh, it's, it's very thrilling feeling. And you're holding this trophy for the third time. That equals what that man up there did, Boris Becker. He hasn't got the bragging rights anymore, has he? No, he doesn't. And I think you'll have a little celebration tonight, will you? We'll have a glass of beer or a glass of wine something definitely I mean it's been a, it's been a long run um, ever since we started working obviously it took some time for us to understand each other and uh, he's somebody that uh, yes <laughs> he's German I'm Serbian so there's significant difference there but um, but we managed we managed to find the right chemistry and uh, um, you know he has contributed a lot this is his trophy equally as mine and, and the entire team and my wife, beautiful wife, my family here. Thank you all for supporting me. I love you. Thank you. And one last question. Everybody has their superstitions, but I've noticed every time you win here, you eat some of the grass. What's that about? Um, it tastes very, very good this year. I don't know what the grounds people have done, but they've done a great job. And, um, well, it's a little tradition, obviously. As, as, um, as a kid, I was really dreaming of, of winning Wimbledon. And um, so I, as every, every, every child, you dream to do something crazy when you, when you actually achieve it, if you achieve it. And um, that was one of the things, so. <laughs> Tasted sweet, and it was a sweet victory. Congratulations, Wimbledon champion, yet again, Novak Djokovic.
of the pictures that will be beamed around the world. Firstly, the runner-up with the champion and then politely, no doubt the runner-up will be asked to